This video contains coarse language and content that may disturb some viewers. A modest home, now a scene of utter devastation. <laughs> this Palestinian family torn apart. <laughs> now counted among the hundreds killed over the past two weeks as Israel's siege of northern Gaza continues. <laughs> The IDF releasing video accusing Hamas of using civilian areas such as health clinics to store weapons. Everything here is a cynical exploitation of the civilian population. But the impact of Israel's strikes is impossible to ignore. And the humanitarian situation in the north is catastrophic, severely compromising people's access um, to means of survival. The US issuing its ally a written letter outlining steps Israel must take within 30 days to improve the deteriorating humanitarian situation. Israel is said to be reviewing the request thoroughly. Ultimately, what we want to see here is results. This isn't about making a rhetorical statement. It's not about making any kind of threats. It's about seeing the situation reversed. If there aren't results, the US has warned Israel it could face potential restrictions on military aid something which may ring hollow as parts of the United States' advanced anti-missile system known as THAAD arrive in Israel. It does show in not just in words, but in deeds, it's, in deeds as well, the US willing to defend this country. The United States is also opposing the widening scope of Israeli airstrikes on the Lebanese capital, Beirut, with civilian casualties mounting by the day. Despite calls for a ceasefire, Israel says it won't agree to any deal which allows Hezbollah to rearm and to regroup. But Hezbollah says the only way for Israelis to return to their homes in the north of the country is to agree to such a peace deal. The solution is a ceasefire. If the Israeli entity does not want to, we will continue. In southern Lebanon, IDF soldiers raise the Israeli flag near a monument in Labuna and launch an early morning strike further north in the capital, Beirut, a sign that any talk of laying down arms is likely a long way off. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Jerusalem.